Why are you doing jumping jack? <laughs> what? Why are you doing jumping jack? I can't hear you. Why are you doing, doing jumping, jumping jacks? jacks? Why are you doing oh. jumping jacks? That's about 8,001, 8,002, 8,300 jumping jacks all weekend. Oh. 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 I think I'm going to take a break from my jumping jacks so we can have some virtual classroom, okay? Okay. All right, good. I need a break. It's been a long weekend here. So. Welcome to Mr. Rob's virtual classroom. We are on day 19. What day is it? Today is a Monday, April 13th, 2020. But what day are we celebrating today? Well, it is actually a holiday today, and I think Ayancha's family will be excited. Today is National Scrabble Day, so grab the board, grab the tiles, and get busy with some Scrabble. Did everybody have a good weekend? I know what that means. That means yes, right? We, we had a fun short. weekend too. We took a, a walk, we went to St. Paul, and we went to Lake Phelan. And it's a wonderful walk, and we saw a lot of beautiful, beautiful prairie restoration. And we, it was we, too short. Too short? You wish it was a longer walk? No longer weekend. <laughs> I thought you were wishing it was a longer walk. It was, a, it was another great loop walk, and it is much less crowded than the Chain of Lakes. So if you're looking for kind of a good social distancing lake to walk around, it's three miles to St. Paul. So, yeah, we loved it. It was fun. And Should we there, do it? And there's a lot of bridges and a lot of docks, and there's even a China, one of those Chinese Asian thingies. Yeah, there's a big Asian theme there, so we should probably learn about the history. To... Instead of doing all that, do you think maybe right now we could hunker down into some team content? Team content! Oh, oh, you guys had a monster, monster week last week. Well, first let's just kind of look at the weekend. Many of you sent in some great, great team content. Eddie, he made a green sun. Ooh, I love it. Gabe, he was working on block patterns with his Legos. And he sent in a, a picture of his chore chart that he, he uses at home. He's been using it for a while and he even had a magic trick. You have to check out his magic trick. Maher, he, he tried our floating activity and he also did some yoga from the Cosmic Kids Yoga. I hope you all had a chance to do some yoga. We heard from Piero. Piero, I miss you so much. His daddy sent in pictures. He's been writing. He's been doing art. He's been counting, doing a lot of work. Nice to hear from you, Piero. We miss you. Ayanch had a 7X weekend. What? Drumming, float, traffic light, addition, rainbow, the names of so many shapes, and he even built a snow bunny. We made a snowman, and I made a baby snowman. Can you believe this April snow? It's so strange. Can I show them our snow? How about at the very end, okay? okay. Uh, that's a marvelous work, Ayanch. Thank you. And Sienna, she had a Forex weekend. She was working on her color wheel. She even colored some Easter eggs. Uh, she took a beautiful nature walk and found this wonderful structure. It, it was kind of like a teepee-like structure, kind of like a big cone that somebody had built in the woods. It looked really fun. Cool fort. And she also did the sink and float activity. And Ania checked in. She was working on her color wheel, and she also did some fuse beads at home, which is a really fun thing to do. And then Adam, he also participated in our sink or float activity. So that's, that's wonderful, wonderful work, my friends. Thank you for sharing all that. I have some great stuff to report about last week. Section B, you friends shared 64 items of team content last week. In section H, you shared 28 items of team content last week. 64 plus 28 is 92. And if wow. you add that to the previous total of 99, so far you friends have turned in 191 items of so team probably, content. So probably this week you'll get into the 200. We definitely will. Yeah. It de definitely will. Way to go team content, you guys are amazing. 
Wow! I was telling Dad you're probably gonna get into the one hundred, the two hundreds. I'm sure time. we're gonna cross two hundred this week, and I have some great news. Some friends are gonna cross the fifty uh, uh, super team threshold this week. We're gonna have fifty Xers this week. At least Sienna and at least Ayanj are on pace for fifty X. Where where they'll earn a prize. We'll be more on that. Mm -hmm. So super team, I'll give you one point a day for attendance for coming to our virtual classroom, and I'll give you upward up to two points a day for your wonderful team content. The board is getting so pretty. Look at this. That's that's the updated board. Ayanch, I believe you're up to 48. Sienna, I think you're Ooh. just behind at 44. My hair's not far behind, too. And you all are doing amazing work. Thank you so much for sharing. So I, I'm going to have to be make, making some prizes this week. I'm kind of excited about that. So I better show you the daily three for today. Jumping jacks. What, jumping oh, jacks. What, you want me to jump? Wait a minute. I thought I was taking my break. Oh, wait. No, daily three. Oh, is it Monday? No, it's Saturday. Jumping jack challenge. That's our first daily three today. How many jumping jacks can you do in a row? I just demonstrated what a jumping jack I think is. I have maybe done five in a row at my gym class before. Take a break and now try to beat your record. Count them as you go. One, two, two three, three, four. four See how high five, you can get, okay? One million. Number two, paint or draw a feeling. Using an art tool of choice, create a picture of a feeling. What feeling did you choose to create? How does your art make you feel? I feel you can do that in your journal, I my feel friends. Middle, because middle I feel like the weekend go too fast. Yeah, it was a quick weekend. Now I, I, I'm extending one of the daily threes from last week. It was very popular. I loved watching you guys doing your sinking and floating activities. So now I have a video for you to watch. I'll send out the link right I after the see virtual it. I classroom. See you can it. see it too, Ernie. And now I want you to try to explain to your parents what you learned from the video. And that leads me to a jumble. We haven't done a jumble. Ernie, can you come on down and show jumble. them the jumble? Jumbotron, we, we have a We have a word jumble for today. I'm going to show you. Ready? Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. Oh, can they see it okay? Oh, I know what Let's it try is. to sound it out. Now, wait a minute. That's not our word, is it? No, this is a jumbled up word. If you can solve this word jumble, make sure you send it in and let me know. I'll give you some I, team content. I think I for might that, know what okay? word it is. Can I? No, 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 no. Just hang on to it. And I'm going to give you a hint. If you do the third part of the daily three, I think you're going to unscramble it very easily. Thank you, Ernie. Can you go ahead back to the couch, please? Thank you. Uh, uh. Thank you. So that's that's my hint. Check out the third part of our daily three. Go to that link. I think you're going to get a hint, a big hint when you watch that video, okay? And then uh, resource of the day is something called the loop. The sounds, loop. Sounds strange. That sounds a little different. I want to, I might have to come a little closer to show you okay. here. Okay. So the loop is something I learned about on our website here. So this is the Hopkins website. And then if you go down here, if you scroll down, it says the loop and you can click that. And this is a really awesome local resource because the loop has different re community resources regarding food, like food internet, internet, community support, sports, mental health, health, physical health, health family enrichment, mm -hmm. uh, county information, mm -hmm. and even transportation information. Mm -hmm. So you can just click on any of these. Uh, physical health is probably going to tell you you have to do one million jumping jacks today. No, really? no, it doesn't say that, but it has other great things. Uh, oh, here's a good one. CDC stress and coping guide during COVID-19. It just redirects you to wonderful pages of resource. So it's all in one easy place. I like that. Let's make it easy, right? 
easier than harder. So much stuff is hard. Let's try to make it a little easy sometimes, right? I want to let you know that uh, the office hours were super fun, but I'm changing the format. So for our parent notes today, I want you to take note that we're gonna have, we're gonna combine the sections and we'll see how that works. And on Wednesday from three to four o'clock, we're gonna have a virtual play time. And All this together. week's theme is Legos. Legos. So bring your Legos to the table. We are gonna be building stuff. Okay? Lego, 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 I'm Lego. I, I, Lego. So be thinking in your brain. I can use Graham Graham sets. Be thinking in your brain what you might want to build. Wait, I could we'll build, build Graham together. set that she gave me. You sure can. You sure can. Excellent. Um, I have a new theme going this week. This week, when we read the stories, I'm gonna be sharing. Uh, it's the works of Gerald McDermott. Today we're going to start off with Anansi the Spider. Gerald McDermott is one of my favorite children's book authors, and and he tells stories of, of folk tales from all around planet Earth. Well, so I this week we're going to travel around the globe reading the stories of Gerald. Well, McDermott. I was in Boy Scouts and I needed to read a folk tale, and I read that book. Is it a good one? Yeah. Should the kids be looking forward to it? Yeah. Absolutely. They they, they try to save their father and they Oh no 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 no, no. Oh. Let, let it be a mystery for them, okay? Okay. Thank you. And then uh we're gonna sing another Raffi book today. This is Shake 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 Your Sillies Out. So I hope you're ready for that. Oh you probably already did that in circle time before. Maybe so, but we can do it again, right? Yeah. That's something we could do. Uh, it's still National Poetry Month. It's the month of April. And I wanted to read a couple of pages from Our Big Home. This is an Earth poem by Linda Glazier, and the art is by Elisa Cle uh, Clev Clevin. She, she Clever. Is a really, Clever. She's a wonderful writer and illustrator. I wish her name was Clever. So I'm going to sing our little song that gets us ready. Eyes are watching. Ears are listening, voice is quiet, body is calm. This is how we listen. This is how we listen. At group time. At group time. We all live here. People, ants, elephants, trees, lizards, lichen, turtles, Bees and more. We all share the same big home. We share water. We splash and slosh and swim in water. And of course, we all drink water. Whales, dolphins, manatees, penguins, palm trees, you and me, we all share the water here on Earth, our big blue. I will be reading passages from this book all week long. I hope you enjoy this. It's an earth poem. And how about we go show them the snowman, Ernie? Let's okay. go do it. We're gonna take you on a tour. Here's and my miniature rare. Here's my miniature rare that I got for okay. Easter. Okay. And we go to snowman. Tomorrow. And there's my baby right next yeah. to him. Here, I'll, I'll go see if I can get a little bit closer. Okay, we're taking the taking the circle outside, guys. Here we go. Did you see the? There it is, and the little baby too. Excellent. All right. Well, should we say? Should we sign off, Ernie? Bye. Hope you guys have a really good week. We we miss you lots. Hope you're having fun. And I gotta get back to my jumping jacks here. All right. One, two, three, four, five. 8,009!